time to be lonely I made a mess of me Went back a high lonely It's not as fun as it seems Cause I'm thinking about you And if you are thinking of me I hate to, I hate to Life in Los Angeles was comfortable. Good friends, stable work, but something was missing. When I really think back at the moments where I truly felt alive, a lot of those moments were when I was traveling in an unfamiliar country with no plan, meeting people who have figured out what they want to do with their life. And when I meet these people, it makes me want to capture their story so other people can watch it and be like, okay, maybe I should actually do what I actually want to do. And that's taken the shape of documentaries in the past. But now with virtual reality, I can bring people a step closer to actually being with these people that I meet. Right now, I'm at a point where I don't have the responsibilities that I will have in the future. And I have the time to really invest in myself. So I pack my bags moved out of Los Angeles and booked a one-way flight to Central America. And the plan was really simple. Fly to Belize and make my way south. And honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go, but this is my attempt of creating a virtual backpacking experience. A few days into my stay on Key Cocker, I was hanging out on a beach and I see a man with dreads down to his feet sailing around the island on his handmade sailboat. He told me he lived on the other side of the island. So the next day, I went searching for his house. This is Rootsman, originally a fisherman. Now he makes a living as an artist, painting murals, t-shirts, and signs around the island. What struck me most about him was the pace at which he lived. Never in a rush and always present. My quick visit to his house turned into a night full of conversation ending with a sailboat ride through the night to drop me back off at my hostel. Over the next few days, I sailed around the island with Rootsman, getting to know how he looked at life. 
Thank you for the ride. All right, my brother. See you tomorrow. Thanks.